Okay, so samples had a chance to sit for five minutes um, for the precipitation of the nucleic acid by the isopropanol. And we're going to spin this now in the um, um, floor centrifuge um, at about 30,000 RPM. Okay, first I have to change the rotor. Um, this is a medium sized rotor, I probably need 1500. Lift the rotor out. Leave it on the right. Um, this is the rotor we want to use. Uh, it's the uh, Sohel SS34 rotor. So I hold it with two hands and I lower it gently onto the spindle. actually rests uh, properly. I've got my samples here and I I like to put the samples so that this not this piece over here faces inwards. So like that. Here's the second one. Okay. Balanced against each other. Um, and now I'm gonna put on the lid. There are two um, sets of knobs that I have to um, that will attach the lid to the rotor as well as the rotor to the centrifuge. So, first is the um, silver outer ring, and I turn it counterclockwise until it's finger tight. That attaches the lid uh, to the um, to the rotor, and now the black ring will actually attach the whole assembly to the spindle. And I always check this by taking both hands and lifting up gently to see that it's, it's firmly in place. Okay. All right, close the lid. And I would like to spin it at 13,000 RPM for five minutes. And this is the SS34 rotor, which is rotor code five. So that's why it's zero five here, okay? So, um, the run temperature of 20 degrees, 25 max means that if the temperature for any reason goes above 25 degrees, it's going to shut down the centrifuge. So it's a safety precaution. So we want to run it at about 20 degrees, 30,000 RPM, five minutes in the SS34 rotor. I'm going to start. The rotor code will flash to remind you to double check that you've got the right rotor code. It's a good idea to stand around for the first few seconds to make sure that there's nothing uh, unusual that's going to happen. And you also want to take this opportunity to sign the log book. So today is the 4th and I'm running at 13,000 RPM, 5 minutes SS34 and I'm spinning down By this point, if you want to be careful, wait till it gets at full speed. But um, you know, nothing has happened. You should be able to save and you should be able to um, um, come back after the fight. 